guys, Strogdor here again, and welcome to another redstone tutorial. Today I have for you a fairly simple uh, spiral 3x3 three three door, or 3x3 three three spiral door. So as you can see, when I press the button, it opens up. Each of the blocks are retracted two ticks behind the other ones. And if I turn it on, and it will close up, and it will close two ticks behind each of the other ones. So it's actually not too or not too hard of a build. Uh, not quite as small as I wanted it to be, but it came out pretty small. Uh, as you can see, it's only three deep. I'm not sure how tall it is, but it's seven wide. Let's see, one, two, three, four. I don't know, like nine, nine tall or something. But uh, as you can see, it, it's working just fine. Let's get on with the tutorial, guys. Okay, guys. So, we're going to be building this right here. So, to start off, we're going to just place a temporary block right there. With two pistons on top of that facing up. Go ahead and get rid of that. We're going to go ahead and put in our frame for the door. Some of these blocks will be used. So it's going to be three right there centered on the pistons. And then three right here. Then we're going to go four this way. Because we're going to use those corners. And then we're going to place in our pistons. So let's uh. piston has to be right there. So one, two, three. We're going to have three pistons on top. That's one way it differs from my other design. Then we go ahead and replace these blocks. We're going to have two on each of these sides. Like this. Facing that way. Same thing on this side. Temporary block right there to help us place them. Like that. Then we're going to have a piston down here. Like that. Next, we're going to go ahead and just build our platform so we know where our door is going to actually be in where we don't want to put any of our redstone at so these are our bounds and then I'm going to come and place a T flip flop not right there but we're going to want to place place it like that so temporary block there dropper facing up then a dropper facing that way I'm going to go ahead and grab out a hopper go place the hopper into that go place an item into the hopper it will be down into this dropper we're going to place a redstone comparator right there with a block in front of it. There we go. Underneath that block, we're going to want a block of air and then our repeat or our sticky piston. I'm going to go ahead and switch out that for our observer block. Place it there facing straight up place redstone on this sticky piston right here and you're going to place a block um, actually no it 
that's not going to be a black. That's going to be a half slab. Half slab with a repeater going out of that dust. I'm going to place a block right there. And then redstone dust down there. Sticky piston right there. Then we're going to go ahead and grab one block of redstone, place it right there. Then we're going to go right there. Place a four tick repeater right there. Redstone dust right there. And then we're going to place some blacks going like this. Black right there. Delete that black. Place a repeater right there on two, three ticks. Place a black right there. And then we're going to place a one tick repeater right there going into another block with a redstone torch on it. With a block on top of that redstone torch and then with another redstone torch on this block. That will actually be the closing circuit for the double piston, or not the double, that will be the closing circuit for these middle two blocks. Now we just have to worry about the closing circuit, or the opening circuit. So to do that, we're going to just delete these blocks. black right here with the redstone on it actually needs to be a half slab. Put a half slab. Or no, it really doesn't matter. But that one right there needs to be a half slab. Then right here we're going to place a repeater on four ticks with redstone dust on it. We're going to get rid of these blocks. Place a torch right there that will get us our falling edge. Okay, delete those. Okay, grab out our droppers and hoppers. We're going to come over to this side. We're going to place a dropper right there, facing this way. We're going to place a, a hopper right there. Go put an item into that hopper. It should flow into your dropper if your hopper's facing right. So coming out of this hopper, we're going to place a comparator. Then we're going to place a repeater, and this repeater will be on two ticks. I'm going to get rid of those two blocks and replace those. Basically, you're going to place two blocks there. You're going to have redstone dust on these two blocks. Uh, coming out of this repeater, you're going to place a comparator going that way right there, and one going that way like that. Then we're going to place redstone dust like that. Place a block here. Repeater going into that bottom piston on two ticks delay. And then we're going to put some temporary blocks to get this half slab set up. Half slab will go right there. Go ahead, actually 
place a couple temporary blocks and place another half slab right there. Uh, we'll go watch some. It doesn't really matter if these are full blocks or not. We'll put some blocks like that. Now on this one, we're going to step up the redstone right here. Go place a block right next to that sticky piston, so right there. Then we're going to place two repeaters going into that. This one right here on four ticks, and this one on two ticks. And then we're going to place a repeater right here on one tick, and redstone dust up there. And that should be our double piston extender. Got our closing circuit here. So let's uh, test this out, see where we got so far. Grab us a button. Uh, you can put the button right on the dropper. Basically your input is this dropper right here. Uh, you can put the redstone dust on top of it. Doesn't really matter, so that closes. opens it up so we're working properly there so now we just need to worry about the rest of the pistons for our door to do that we'll take a half slab and place it right there place redstone dust on that half slab uh, place a block right there with a torch on top of it with a block on top of the torch and then a torch coming off the side. Uh, we actually don't need the corners on this one. Uh, from that torch, we're going to put a redstone dust right on top of that sticky piston. Then we're going to come up from that piston. And then we're going to place a redstone repeater right there on two ticks delay. Going to take redstone dust, put it there, going straight into that piston, and then we're going to come out here. These two pistons need repeaters. This one needs to be on two ticks, this one needs to be on four ticks. Now we're going to place a redstone torch there. Place a redstone torch above that piston. Then we're going to place a repeater on four ticks delay right there. Going into some dust, we'll turn off that uh, torch. Now we just need to power this bottom one right here. So to do that, we're going to not place a torch there. We're going to place a half slab right there with a repeater right there on two ticks delay going into a full block and we're going to place a block right there with redstone dust on it then we're going to place a half slab right there then we're going to place dust on that half slab and that should be everything done uh, all these pistons right here will open and close two ticks uh, after the last one. So let's go ahead and press it and give it a good test. Everything closes. Everything opens back up. So let's uh, just clean this up. That's it for the tutorial, guys. If you enjoyed the tutorial and found this helpful and you like the build, please leave a like and subscribe. Stay in touch with my tutorials. Uh, I don't know, I'll probably be tinkering with this thing a little bit more, trying to make it better. I'll also be probably building a normal 3x3 again. I don't know. I have to start work on a 4x4 also. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. I will see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.